Good morning. Hello. How are you? Hope that you all are fit, fine, healthy, and strong. Because I'm sure that you are eating well, sleeping nicely, and having a good time with your family members. Children, today before we start our today's class, let's play a small game. Are you all ready to play the game? So let's play a game of hide and seek. Hide and seek. Well, I'm going to hide something, and you have to tell me what is hiding just next. Uh, what is I'm hiding, right? So now tell me what am I hiding? My eye. What I'm hiding? My ear. What I'm hiding? my lip my mouth if i hide it how i will be able to talk to you well now children <clears throat> i will just show you my finger you what you have to do you have to constantly look at my finger and wherever i am going to move this finger you have to move your eyes too and you have to concentrate specially on this finger okay this is a game of concentration this game will improve your concentration level and also it will make your mind very active right so 1 2 and 3 now just look at my finger okay aapko dhyan dena hai कि आपको कुछ और नहीं दिखना चाहिए मैं भी नहीं दिखना चाहिए ओनली एंड ओनली द फिंगर यू नीड टू सी जहाँ भी मेरा फिंगर जा रहा है आपकी आईज बस वहाँ ही जाएगी वेर एवर कॉन्सेंट्रेट पे फुल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पूरा ध्यान से सारा ध्यान आपका सिर्फ और सिर्फ फिंगर पर होनी चाहिए ओके पूरी ध्यान आपकी कहा होनी चाहिए ओनली एंड ओनली फिंगर सी आर यू एबल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दैट फिंगर दैट आई एम शोइंग यू आई एम पॉइंटिंग यू आर यू एबल टू चलो लेट्स ट्राई इट आउट फ्यू मोर सेकेंड्स Yes, I think so. That you are able to concentrate. Now see, your mind and you both are active because when we concentrate on something, uh, even if we are feeling sleepy or if we are feeling dull, we get active because our mind needs to. Uh, pay concentration on something and then if even if our mind gets dull then mind immediately wakes up and say oh okay i will need to concentrate so now your mind is very active and ready to learn so children i am sure that now your exams are over you must have given your exams very nicely aap sab ne acha hi diya hoga very soon you will get your results too in your ptm right jis din digital ptm hoga us din aapko result bhi milega and you will get to know about your marks right so children now as we were proceeding with our half yearly course so uh, in our half yearly course we have already learned the topic adjective right adjective humne padha tha what is an adjective the words which describes a noun or a pronoun is called as an adjective padha tha na and we have done the book exercise related to adjective so what are adjectives the words that describe something a noun or a pronoun is called as an adjective for an example if i show you something like if i show you my bag right if i show you my bag so can you just describe me about my bag like if i tell you what is the color of the bag you will say the bag is brown in color so brown what are you describing what is the color of the bag brown so brown is an adjective word why because it is describing about the bag that bag is brown in color what is the size of the bag bag is small or medium size 
so small is a describing word why why because small is telling me about the bag that bag is small okay what is the shape of the bag the bag looks like a shape of a butterfly right so or it's a uh, uh, it's not actually a square a rectangle in shape it is almost all rectangle in shape if i just open this if i open this then you can say that it is almost all rectangle in shape so what is the shape of the bag it is rectangle in shape so rectangle is a adjective word right so see how we are describing uh, anything now let's try one more thing okay now let me just find it out yes see here i have one fruit which fruit it is it's red red pomegranate right it's pomegranate pomegranate ko hindi mein kya kehte hain anar right so can you just describe me about this fruit this fruit is like if i have to describe it i will say it is the fruit is red in color right the fruit is very sweet it has many seeds right so see how i'm describing pom pomegranate the pomegranate is red in color so uh, which word is an adjective red red because red is telling me about this pomegranate the uh, pomegranate is sweet so sweet is an adjective because i am telling about this pomegranate is sweet i am also saying the pomegranate has many seeds so uh, many is also a describing word why because many is telling me that there are many seeds in the pomegranate right now next if i show you a small tomato so can you just describe me about this tomato tomato is red tomato is juicy so see how, which all words we have used to describe the tomato red juicy small so these are describing the word, this particular noun that is tomato right so these words are called as describing words the words that describe anyone any person any place any animal or any bird is called as describing words right so children now everybody please be ready with your notebooks because today we are going to write the definition of describing words and we will do one exercise related to describing words because already we have done the book exercise i have already told you what are adjectives in our previous two the uh, classes we have learned about adjectives and i'm sure that now you are able to find out the adjective words if i give you the words like in uh, many words you can find out the adjective word very easily so let's just quickly do the exercise that we are going to do so everybody be ready with your notebook now open the b notebook but before opening the b notebook first fill the index okay everybody fill the index already you have written this these all indexes that you have filled poem what are grandmas for then you have written singular plural you have written little aristos big adventure and you have also done creative writing so today in number 5 serial number we are going to write down number 5 and in dates column we will write down today's date that is 1808 right and in the column of title we are going to write down adjective so please fill this up fast fill your index page write down today's date and the topic that is adjective and spelling of adjective is a d j e c t i v e adjective right so everybody has filled the index now open your b notebook where you are going to write down this adjective definition because adjective this we have learned in our grammar 
right it's a grammar topic so grammar work we all do it in our b notebook so aapka notebook ka second part notebook ka first part is a notebook and notebook ka second part aapka kya rehta hai second half mein b notebook right so open your b notebook and then in the first page first you write down homework there is some lovely exciting homework for you all बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग होमवर्क है राइट सो राइट डाउन होमवर्क एंड टुडे इज डेट एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाट इज टुडे इज होमवर्क सो टुडे इज होमवर्क इज मेक एनी शेप ऑफ मेक एनी शेप यू हैव टू कट अ शेप कोई भी शेप सर्कल स्क्वायर क्लाउड रेक्टेंगल ट्राइंगल सो यू मेक एनी शेप बाई यूजिंग कलरफुल पेपर्स एंड पेस्ट इट योर मीन्स योर मीन्स इन योर नोटबुक ओके यू हैव टू मेक एनी शेप यू कैन कट द शेप फर्स्ट ड्रॉ अ शेप इन द कलरफुल पेपर एंड देन कट इट एंड देन पेस्ट इट इन योर नोटबुक योर राइट फ्यू वर्ड्स टू डिस्क्राइब अबाउट योर मदर and in that colorful page what you have to do you have to write few words of describing words you have to use some dis- adjective words to describe about your mother आप अपनी मम्मा से प्यार करते हैं ना तो बताइए तो हम अपने मम्मा के बारे में क्या क्या लिख सकते हैं मेरी माँ बहुत अच्छी है बहुत प्यार करती है आ, मुझे खाना देती है बहुत केयरिंग है आ, बहुत लविंग है disciplined hai right so these all things we can write about our mother these are the adjective words that we can use for our mother right so here see i will just show you an example ki maine kaise apne mother ke bare mein likha tha see this here uh, i had the brown cover page mere paas uh, purane notebook mein brown cover tha to maine usse ek triangle shape cut kiya राइट right? और उसके बाद एक पिंक पेपर से मैंने आइसक्रीम का शेप का ऐसा एक कोन शेप रेडी किया राइट right? सो so, मैंने एक आइसक्रीम ड्रॉप बना लिया और उस पर मैंने लिखा आई लव यू विद अ चेरी ऑन माई ऑन टॉप एंड अपने मॉम के बारे में मैंने देखो यहाँ एक चेरी जैसा लगाया और मॉम के लिए मैंने ये सारे एडजेक्टिव वर्ड्स मैंने लिखे हैं लाइक नाइस caring smart my mother is nice my mother is caring my mother is smart my mother is dedicated my mother is giving my mother is beautiful my mother is very strong my mother is sweet my mother is loyal my mother is happy my mother is loving my mother is funny also sometimes my mother is very brave my mother is full of fun she is very helpful she is perfect and she is sometimes silly also right so this is the one of the example not necessary ki aapko ice cream cone banana hai i will just show you one more example dekho aise bhi aap kar sakte koi bhi shape ye to maine ek example aapko dikhaya hai like jaise dekho yahan par kaise banaya hai yahan par flower shape mein banaya hai middle mein mom likha hai aur petals mein मम्मा के बारे में लिखा है लविंग हैप्पी वाइज काइंड ब्यूटीफुल फनी राइट एंड हियर यू कैन राइट योर नेम सो दिस इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल आपको जरूरी नहीं कि आपको आइसक्रीम कोन या फ्लार ही बनाना है आप अपने मम्मा से रिलेटेड जो भी शेप आपको पसंद है उससे रिलेटेड कट करके और ऐसे एडजेक्टिव वर्ड्स उसमें लिख कर अपने मम्मा के लिए मुझे ज़रूर शेयर करेंगे दिखाएंगे कि आपने अपने मम्मा के बारे में क्या क्या लिखा है ठीक है श्योर ना ओके एवरीबडी विल डू दिस होमवर्क एंड विल शो इट टू मी ठीक है नाउ लेट्स डू दी क्लास वर्क इन दी नेक्स्ट पेज सो प्लीज नाउ ओपन दी नेक्स्ट पेज एंड राइट डाउन टूडे इज डेट योर एंड क्लास वर्क ओके राइट डाउन टूडे इज डेट एंड क्लास वर्क एट द टॉप ऑफ द पेज राइट at the top of the page write down date and class work done written everyone now in the first line you will write down a heading that is adjective 
in bracket describing words because adjectives are also called as describing words why because they describe the noun wo describe karte noun ke bare mein ya pronoun ke bare mein that's why adjectives are also called as describing words right so please write down the heading spelling of adjective is a d j e c t i v e adjective and the spelling of describing is d e s c r i b i n g describing w o r d s words describing words right now in the next line you will write the definition of adjective so what is the definition of adjective the words that describe noun or pronoun are called as adjectives or describing words what is an adjective the words that describe noun or pronoun are called as adjectives or describing words the words that describe a noun or a pronoun are called as adjectives or describing words right so please write it down the words that describe a noun or a pronoun the words that describe nouns or pronouns are called as adjectives or describing words now after writing down the definition we will write down the example right like number 1 hot milk so what kind of milk hot milk so here the word hot is a describing word why because it is describing me about the milk that how is the milk the milk is hot right now the second example is sunny day so how is the day the day is sunny how is the day day is sunny so sunny is an adjective word it's a describing word because it is describing about the day right number 3 big tree big tree so we are describing about the tree so how is the tree it's a big tree right so you will write down the examples and then you will draw these pictures too like a glass showing milk there right sunny day how you are going to show just draw a sun there and big tree how you are going to show just draw a tree picture of a tree and later on you can color these pictures okay later on after the class you can color the pictures now after completing the work please draw a line at the end so that it gives a mark it gives a remark that you have completed the work of this page is page ka work aapne complete kar liya hai iske liye hum kya karte hain we always draw the line at the end of the work so that it shows that we have completed our work so what is an adjective the words that describe noun or pronoun are called as adjectives or describing words example hot milk so the how is the milk hot milk sunny day how is the day sunny day big tree how is the tree big right so the words like hot sunny and big they are describing words right everybody has written great now come to the next page okay in the next page please write down date and class work this is one of the exercise we are going to do to see that how much you know okay about the describing words so in the first line write down the heading circle the describing words circle the describing words so here see there are some sentences given right and you have to read out these sentence 
and in the sentence you have to circle the describing words the words which are describing about the noun in the sentence you have to describe uh, you have to circle those words right so first you please write down the heading circle the describing words circle the describing words c i r c l e circle t h e d describing d e s c r i b i n g describing words w o r d s words now let's read out the first sentence number 1 ram is a good boy ram is a good boy so whom we are talking about we are talking about ram right who is ram ram is a boy who is ram ram is a boy so now just tell me what kind of boy is ram what kind of boy is ram ram is a good boy so who is telling me about ram which word is me say kaun sa word mujhe bata raha hai ki ram kaisa boy hai ye wala word g double o d good so ye jo word hai good it's a describing word right it's a describing word so let's just circle the word good because good is describing about the boy and who is the boy ram so boy yahan par noun hai it's a name of a person right aur boy kaisa hai good hai ram kaisa boy hai ram ek acha boy hai acha ladka hai so good is a describing word right so please write down the sentence now let's do the second sentence the food is tasty the food is tasty so we are talking about what about the food khane ke bare mein hum baat kar rahe food kaisa hai food kaisa hai the food is tasty the food is tasty so which word is describing about the food food kaisa hai food tasty hai so tasty kya ho gaya describing word so describing word ko humko kya karna hai we have to circle the word so let's circle the word tasty tasty means swadisht right so the food is tasty what is how is the food tasty tasty is a describing word so are you writing it in your notebook make sure children you are writing very neatly be very very alert while doing your work so that you don't make spelling mistake right spelling mistake nahi honi chahiye tabhi to aap a plus milega perfect mil kahenge hai na agar mistake kiya tab to fir wo perfect work nahi hua na so let's do the work perfectly okay now let's do number 3 the butterfly has beautiful wings the butterfly has beautiful wings so who we are talking about hum kiske bare mein baat kar rahe butterfly ke bare mein but hum butterfly ke kis cheez ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain butterfly ke wings ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain right pure butterfly ke bare mein nahi baat kar rahe hum butterfly ke wings ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain so can you just tell me how is butterfly's wing butterfly ka wing kaisa hai beautiful hai how is the butterfly's wings wings are beautiful so kaun sa word mujhe bata raha hai ki wings kaise hain beautiful bata raha hai so beautiful kya ho gaya describing word or adjective so please circle the word beautiful the butterfly has beautiful wings so how is are the wings of butterfly beautiful so beautiful is a is a describing word done now let's do number 4 the grass is green how what is the sentence let's read it out once again the grass is green the grass is green so we are talking about what we are talking about grass 
हम ग्रास के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं ग्रास कैसा है ग्रास ग्रीन कलर का है ग्रास कैसा है ग्रास ग्रीन कलर का है सो so, ग्रीन क्या हो गया बताओ ग्रीन मुझे डिस्क्राइब कर रहा है ग्रास के बारे में सो ग्रीन इज अ डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड और एडजेक्टिव सो विच वर्ड इज एन एडजेक्टिव ग्रीन सो लेट सर्कल द वर्ड ग्रीन ग्रास इज ग्रीन सो विच वर्ड इज द एडजेक्टिव ग्रीन बिकॉज ग्रीन मुझे बता रहा है कि ग्रास ग्रीन है ग्रास कैसा है ग्रीन है नाउ कैन यू प्लीज रीड आउट द फिफ्थ सेंटेंस चलो पढ़ के दिखाओ तो मुझे फिफ्थ सेंटेंस में क्या लिखा हुआ है आई वेरी गुड है न्यू शर्ट यस वेरी गुड सो लेट्स रीड आउट वंस अगेन आई हैव अ न्यू शर्ट so in this sentence what i am saying i am saying i have a new shirt mere paas nayi shirt hai to main kiske bare mein baat kar rahi hu main apne kis cheez apne bare mein baat kar rahi hu nahi main apne shirt ke bare mein baat kar rahi hu i am talking about my shirt to shirt mera kaisa hai purana hai old hai phata hai purana hai dirty hai ganda hai kya main bol rahi hu shirt kaisa hai न्यू शर्ट है आई हैव अ न्यू शर्ट मेरा शर्ट नया है नई शर्ट है मेरे पास सो विच वर्ड इज अ डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड न्यू सो न्यू इज अ डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड बिकॉज न्यू इज डिस्क्राइबिंग मी अबाउट द शर्ट दैट न्यू दैट शर्ट इज अ न्यू शर्ट राइट ओके अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स डू द वर्क कंप्लीट योर वर्क Ram is a good boy. So, Ram, what kind of boy? Good. Good is a describing word. The food is tasty. What kind of the food is? The food is tasty. Tasty is a describing word. The butterfly has beautiful wings. What kind of wings? Beautiful. Beautiful is an adjective. The grass is green. How is the grass? Green. Green is an adjective. I have a new shirt. What kind of shirt I have? New. So new is an adjective, right? So after writing down all these five sentences, please draw a line after completing the work. Work ये लिखने के बाद line हमेशा draw करनी चाहिए. This should be a habit. Always you should draw a line after completing the work, right? Now don't worry if you have If you have yet not completed the work, I am going to send this uh, the PDF of this particular exercise in your WhatsApp group. Okay, so from that PDF you can complete your work. But make sure your handwriting should be neat and clean, right? It should be neat and clean. So I think so. By now you must have completed your work. कर लिया है अगर नहीं किया है तो डोंट वरी जस्ट अभी मैं आपको थोड़ी देर में व्हाट्सएप पर आपके भेजती हूँ ठीक है सो चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी हैव लर्न अबाउट एडजेक्टिव अबाउट डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स सो नाउ आई थिंक यू आर एबल टू डिस्क्राइब अगर मैं आपको कभी कहूँ कि अब आप अपने आप को डिस्क्राइब करिए तो आप ज़रूर डिस्क्राइब कर लेंगे और आज का होमवर्क करना मत भूलिएगा आई एम श्योर दैट यू ऑल आर एक्साइटेड टू डू टूडे इज होमवर्क प्लीज टेल मी मोर एंड मोर अबाउट योर मदर आपकी मॉम कैसी है और आप क्या मॉम के लिए शेप ड्रॉ करके कलर करके और मॉम के लिए क्या लिखते हैं वो मैं देखना चाहूँगी सो आई एल बी वेटिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्सेस सो जस्ट कम्प्लीट योर होमवर्क कम्प्लीट योर क्लास वर्क एंड प्लीज शेयर योर वर्क विद मी ओके टिल देन जस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ हैव अ वंडरफुल डे है Bye